Uh, so we continue working with slightly more complicated situations, more extreme situations involving knives. The previous situation we dealt with involved a threat with the knife, therefore the knife was used, if you remember, around the neck as a, as a power tool, so to speak, to try and threaten very close range, threatening for life. We're going to work with an attack with a knife, where the knife is literally uh, being used to try and hurt you with. And Magdalena and Dave will work on the technique and we'll, uh, we'll talk through it. So if we do the technique about sort of 70 percent pace, show. Cool, fantastic, once more. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk through um, uh, what's happening at the moment, step by step. So what's happening is, in, in this situation, uh, that Dave is, is slashing towards the, the, the neck of Magda, and she's naturally moving backwards, and as you notice, raising her hands up. So for a second, raising her hands up to protect her neck. Again, so she's sending her body back to her natural response. From there, what she's doing, as Dave comes back with the knife, she's sending her forearms to knife hands, two knife hands towards. You'll notice that one forearm is below the elbow, one is above the elbow to keep control of any movement that he might have with the knife. She's also moved her body out of what we call the line of attack, so she's not in his direct line anymore. What she then does is control his arm to prevent any more movement with the left hand and strike strong and hard to the vulnerable part of the body, again thinking about changing the thought process of the brain, making go to pain. She then, as in the previous technique, goes to double control on the knife. Okay, so grip in the hand, grip in the arm, and then she's sliding her hand towards the wrist. So what's going to happen in a moment, not yet, is she's going to manipulate his wrist in one direction, send his arm and send his shoulder and wrist joint in a direction it doesn't like going, and his, his body has to follow, otherwise his arm will break and his shoulder will, will dislocate. So that's there. So what's happening is Magra steps back a little bit with her left leg, creates a gap, keeps the knife away from her, and then manipulates him to the ground going against his joints. Dave falls to the ground there. So you notice Magda continues to be in control of the knife. His arm is long, and what she's going to do now when appropriate is to take the knife away, scrape it inside. What you notice is she then hides the knife and steps away and keeps the hand up. So again, once more through with the technique, nice and slow we'll talk through it. So the problem comes forward, natural action backwards, protecting the hands towards knife hands, control. Hit to the face, get control on the knife, step back, manipulation to the floor, keep the arm nice and strong and take the knife away and step back away from the danger zone.